Listener Tim asks, Today, my USB-C charger for my MacBook Pro got stolen along with my MagSafe charger for my iPhone 12. Well, that sucks, Tim. I'm mm-hmm. sorry to hear that. He says, so I need to replace them. I'm looking for advice. Should I go through Apple for a standard replacement uh, equipment or are there other options that come from third parties? So again, sorry to hear it. Uh, the good news is that now that we live in the USB-C world, you do not need to buy Apple specific chargers for your MacBook Pro. For your MagSafe charger for your iPhone 12, I think you probably are still in an Apple world. I haven't seen any third party MagSafe clone chargers that I would trust. There's plenty of Qi chargers, so obviously you can go that route. But if you want MagSafe, I think you need to go with Apple. But as far as powering your MagSafe charger, that's USB-C on the other end. So you can go with anything. Uh, I, you know, the I, I'm, I'm a big fan of what Anchor's doing. Uh, there's a lot of other brands out there that, that are also doing great things. Uh, just make sure they're a trustworthy third party, not some, you know, fly-by-night company. But there's, there's plenty of them out there. There's good ones. Um, just make sure that both the charger and, as we've recently discussed, the cable that you buy deliver enough power to charge your MacBook Pro. Um, you can look in Mac Tracker to see what your computer's original equipment charger delivered. And I would suggest matching that at a minimum. Um, you know, some are going to require 85 watts at a minimum. Some are going to require 40 watts at a minimum. Uh, those minimums are not necessarily hard and fast minimums. You like, certainly I have charged a MacBook pro that came with a 85 watt charger with a 60 watt and it's totally fine, but there might be occasions, especially if you're using the computer while it's charging, where you do want that minimum level of, of charge to be available. So, so just make sure you're getting one that, that matches that.